Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to use Padlet. If you are here it means that you have been asked to sign up or log in uh, and so what I'd like you to do please is either take a look at this button way over here and do just that. All you need is an email address and a password and that'll get you to a page that looks like this. Oh look it's very familiar except it's got new buttons over here. Now before you push any of these buttons what I'd like you to do is take a look at this gallery and see all the amazing things people have created. Oh and it looks like this. And please take the time just to kind of peruse and go, ooh, this is cool. Maybe I could do this. Maybe it provides some inspiration. But at some point in time, I kind of want you to build your own wall. So you're going to click this wall, this button right here that says build wall. And you're going to be taken to a page that looks very familiar to like this. Oh, and yay, your wall is ready. So start posting or modify wall. Ah, well, you have a choice. You can choose to modify the wall. You can put in a title here. Oh, title. Oh, so cool. And you can have a description of cool things I've learned about Padlet. Or whatever you want to put. You can also put a little small portrait or whatever you like to associate with that. This is actually a very important toolbar. This comes underneath modify this wall. Anytime you want to uh, access this here it is and you can modify all these things right now let's modify the wallpaper here oh hey look it we can put in a uh, wallpaper however we want though hey look it there's some origami well now what do you do with this well all you need to do to start building your wall is double click anywhere that you'd like it you put your name down miss p and then you write something i love teaching students and then I can choose to put a link. Maybe I want to have a website on here. Maybe I want to have a YouTube video on here. Maybe there's an image that I want to put on here. And that's where I stick it. Or I can upload a file so I can browse my uh, I can browse my document folder. I can browse my photo depository and I can put whatever I want there too and then this way you can create cool things with your friends now here's an important feature is that you want to talk about a little bit about privacy so let's say that you want to invite some friends well you can choose to make it private where you add everybody by email over here and then you add them and then they can have uh, links into this here or perhaps you want to have like a hidden link Oh, or sorry, a password protected where visitors will be required to enter a password so they can access the wall. Very secretive. Or maybe you want to have a hidden link where you send somebody the link and they can view this. Or you can also make it so they can write uh, on here. I would not suggest that they can moderate. Write is good. Unless you're doing a true collaboration, uh, then they can moderate. That would be just fine. Or maybe you're feeling really brave and you want to go totally public and you want everybody to see what you're working on. Then you can do this and then you can say they can only view or maybe they want to write or moderate whatever you'd like them to have but this is how you control who sees what on here um, you can do a layout you can say if you want a free form or a stream that's entirely up to you or you can just delete it if you don't like what you got you go delete and they say yes delete it okay and there it goes bye bye very soon you're going to be introduced to Hamlet Prince of Denmark, a wall dedicated to anything to Hamlet. And you're going to be working on this as a big class. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find Palette to be of use and inspiring and collaborative and all sorts of fun. And we're going to see what we can do with it during class. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.